Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining us. Just looking online recently, I haven't found too many reviews or consumer reviews of country clipper mowers. Uh, most of them are either dealerships or the manufacturer themselves. Uh, from what I can find, these are made in the USA, um, primarily with Kohler and Kawasaki motors. This one has a Kohler 7000 series, 23 horsepower. Very adequate for the 54 inch deck it has on it. Um, these mowers are really known for their joystick control here. Single, um, single linkage underneath controlling both hydros. It's pretty simple. Forward is forward, backward is backwards, left and right. I guess we'll cover the deck adjustment next. Um, not a huge fan of this, honestly. Most other zero turn manufacturers use a foot lever, which I find way more convenient, especially because they place the handle on the same side as your control arm. So basically, when you're driving along and say you have to raise the deck for an obstacle or whatever, um, you have to remove your hand from here or switch hands um, and then lift the deck. Very inconvenient. Um, it's one big dislike about this lawnmower. Um, Quick shout out to Armagers in Delaware though. They've done a great job with warranty work and all, servicing, very reasonable prices too. Pick this up used with less than uh, 20 hours on it because the gentleman before could not figure out how to drive it. That's another big thing. It's definitely a little learning curve if you're used to regular zero turns, but if you're coming from a lawn tractor, I find it even easier than the twin sticks. Next, I guess we'll cover the deck here. Pretty standard rubber flap. It is bolted on, there's no spring involved, so you can tighten that and keep it up if you would like. Don't recommend that, obviously, but it is sometimes necessary in wet and heavy grass. A um, Couple disadvantages of this mower deck, prefer, uh, personally, is this blocker right here. The way that they've done this cutout is, I've noticed grass likes to stick here, as you can see. I have this mower uncleaned, as you can see, I've angered some ants, but uncleaned to show you what it does. So basically, it'll grab here, build up a clump about halfway up and then drop it right out. I don't really like this, especially if you're doing commercial lawns because it, you know, you gotta go over it again, more time, more money lost. Uh, most other zero turns in this mid-grade residential, uh, Bobcat, uh, I'm trying to think, Bad Boy, and I believe even, even Spartan mowers have a more uh, flat discharge area, a little bit easier. And this, especially in uh, somewhat damp grass, this will completely clog up. You have to shut the mower off, get off, clean it out. I had that happen the other day. It was about every 10 feet it was doing it. This was um, weekly mowings on this lawn. It wasn't like it was going um, two or three weeks at a time. But, you know, just kind of got to work with it, feel it out, and see what height and what speed works for you. Most of the stuff on this lawn more serviceable, like the wheel bearings and the caster bearings are both serviceable. Uh, advantage and disadvantage, um, obviously done correctly, it'll have a lot longer life, but if you're neglectful, um, like some people can, especially buying a used lawnmower, you run the risk of having to replace these. I actually did have to have the front bearing replaced um, pretty much soon after ownership, about 50 hours in. Um, I don't know if the gentleman before didn't grease it properly or if the dealership did not, um, but I haven't had any trouble since then and I've put, it has about 250 hours on it now. You can see right there, 246. Um, other than the wheel bearings, I did have every single spindle go out on this. Um, this mower is about a 2018 model year, excuse me, 2017 model year. I bought it, um, beginning of 2018. So... The warranty had just ended. It's a two-year parts and labor and then a third-year parts. The third-year parts had just ended when the spindles went out. This kind of angered me a little bit. Um, the dealership was really good, obviously. Armadress was really good about um, trying to make it right. I did have to pay some out-of-pocket for that. Um, a little aggravating. They said it was because there was moisture in the spindles. Obviously, these are sealed spindles. So there's not really much you can do except for replace them. Country Clipper has had some known issues with them. Um, 
can't really get down here and show you it's under the cover but they have had some known issues with them even just uh mowing in the rain or whatever the spindles will go bad after a time um, as you can see on the deck here it does have a somewhat anti-scout feature like most lawnmowers it doesn't have change it just has a um, slider here there is a uh, two anti-scalp wheels on the front and two on the back issue with this is the it's missing the front anti-scalp wheel and as you can see here the weld is starting to come off slightly at the bottom um problem with the anti-scalp wheel there is it likes to dig trenches especially cutting about a two and three quarters of an inch um which is you know give and take to fabricate one and put it on would be more pain than any good so just have to deal with it and watch yourself and that's where the hand adjustment here is another minus because you're constantly having to figure out if you're on a slope or not and if you have to slightly raise this and then you have to take your hand off the control and all that parking brake is pretty standard down up over on the control panel straightforward ignition you have your pto throttle and choke um, as I said before, Kohler 7000 series motor. Had no issues at all with the motor, but I have had some slight issues with the transaxles. I believe these are 2800s on this mower. Um, I did have the seal on top. Very difficult to see. I'm going to point to it down here. So you see this red wire? It would be just, just below. Um, where